Judd Mrachek is a die-hard Padres fan. He has been since the 70s growing up in the college area, and he has the old team hats to prove it. This is uh, early 70s, probably like circa 73, the Padre Brown. My dad ended up painting our house Padre Brown. <laughs> Ed has been through it all as a fan, watching great players, suffering through losing seasons, reveling in the team's World Series appearances. And Tony Gwynn goes deep with his first postseason home run. And sometimes Ed wants to keep track of his team while he's at his home in La Jolla. But Ed can't watch the game at home, either has to go to a bar or buy a ticket because Ed is a Time Warner cable customer. Well, I think it's uh, corporate politics at its best. I mean, I've had Time Warner for over 20 years in La Jolla, and it's been really frustrating not having the Padres on the air. The Padres games aren't available to Time Warner cable viewers who are concentrated toward North County. The company hasn't been able to come to an agreement with Fox Sports San Diego, the network contracted to air the games. Time Warner Cable maintains Fox wants too much money for the sports network. Fox points out it's reached broadcast agreements with every other major provider in the area and that Time Warner Cable is spending $8 billion to broadcast sports in Los Angeles. That has Sherry Leitner concerned too. The San Diego City Council member is holding a public hearing to try to work through the dispute, though she has no real power to resolve it. If nothing else, she says her hearing can put a little pressure on the companies. The city can certainly um, make folks aware of what some of their other options are and to actually ask um, Time Warner and Fox to get together for the benefit of the constituents in the city. Constituents like UT San Diego columnist and Time Warner cable subscriber Matt Hall. But come on, man. I mean, people just want to watch the baseball on TV. It's America's pastime. Hall started writing about the dispute last season when he couldn't watch the Padres on TV. He points out a lot of the affected fans are older or disabled and can't make it downtown to Petco Park for a game. He says there's no good reason for it. No, this is greed. I mean, it's plain and simple. This is greed. People are arguing over sums of money that you or I are never going to see in our lifetimes. And I think people are disgusted by that. But while the public may be disgruntled, Professor George Belch says we should expect more of these situations. He's the chair of the marketing department at San Diego State and co-founder of the university's sports MBA program. He says these kinds of disputes are becoming more common as the amount of money involved increases. But he says the city's role is unclear because this is ultimately a conflict between two private companies. For me, at least, it's hard to see where the city would come in. I mean, the city would like to say this is an important issue to the population, but I guess that's for the city attorneys to figure out what legal rights they really have to get involved in this. The San Diego city attorney has issued a memo saying it's reasonable for San Diego to look into the issue, though it's ultimately up to the companies to settle it. But Belch says the Padre players may have a role as well. If they have a strong start to the season, it may spur more fans to demand the companies reach an agreement so they can watch their beloved Padres from wherever they choose. Katie Orr, KPBS News.